I'm so excited to try this place. I've had my eye on it since they opened. Just so you know, I'm on a diet, girl. What diet? I see food, I eat it. Let's oh, go. Perfect place for you. <laughs> it is cocktail time. Ooh, I am yeah, it is. thirsty. Hello, ladies. <laughs> what do you got for us? And welcome to Even Keel. I'm Bootleg. You ever heard of Robert Irvine? Yeah. I'm a big fan. I'm going to be using their cranberry flavor. Spring is in and nothing says spring like cranberry. So I'm doing about a half an ounce of fresh lime juice in here with the basil leaves. Fresh, fresh lime juice that we do every day. Uh, we juice around 40 lemons and limes nice. a day to make our juices to start a show. Fresh, okay. right. I'm gonna add a little bit of our spices. You may see this in bar a lot, people call it bitters, but what it is to us is basically spices. The same way the chefs have all their seasonings back there, we do spices as well. I'm gonna add, and also I'm gonna add a little more vodka for you. Oh. <laughs> Actually, you can put a little bit more for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, you already know that I'm the bigger drinker. I'm talking to you here. Do you know what I love the most about boardroom vodka? That Robert Irvine gives back all the profits to our military. Cheers to that. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of elderflower liqueur for flavor. Elderflower is mainly, uh, other than making liqueurs, um, it, it is widely used in the making of colognes and perfumes. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so you can actually, and again, lean forward a little bit. Uh -huh. You can actually wear this. Yeah, <laughs> right, you know, right. so, Who needs perfume when you can use liquor, right? Right. <laughs> I have to leave a bottle of that at my house all day. Even keel just means keeping an even balance, even spirit, even mind, and uh, even cocktails. Right? <laughs> oh, boot, like, why would I go anywhere else? Like, no, out with you all stay day? with me. Can we be best friends, please? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Cheers. Salute. Cheers, girl. Oh, wow. I love the balance of this. Yes, and uh, that's the most important thing in any cocktail. You've got to have balance. I feel like I taste everything life. equally. Yeah. I do. I, the word balance is the best word you can use for this because you can taste every single one of those flavors, but it's all so balanced. And it tastes so refreshing. All right, ladies. No, we're through the first cocktail. Wow. No, one thing I didn't tell you, I'm from the Caribbean, I'm Jamaican. So I'm gonna Whoa. switch in my Jamaican for a soda for a minute. All right, you ready? Nice. All right, cool. So, yeah, man. Yeah, man, yeah, man. <laughs> Rum babanko. I like the way you say that, babanko. Babanko. It's a French spelling. I usually find that on the French islands. Now, when it comes to rum, there are really only two types of rum, and it's spelled R-H-U-M. It's usually made in the agricultural method, usually in the French islands. We're making a roasted pineapple daiquiri with 15-year-old rum babanco. So we got our fresh lime, we got our roasted pineapple from Costa Rica. Uh, we got our Angostura spices from Trinidad. It's one of the best rums that you can get for the money that you're gonna pay for it. So we're breaking it down, mixing all the ingredients together. That is a pretty drink. This is pretty as you. Oh, you know. don't be fluttering me up, Buttercup. <laughs> Rum Bob and Core makes me feel like I'm on a tropical oasis. I right, but like, we're kind of hungry. We're ready to go hit the kitchen and see what the chef is. Okay. All right, come hey. hither. Let's go. We had a little bit too much fun with Bootleg the bartender. I want to know what chef has cooking for us right now. We're, we're gonna do some really, really beautiful seafood inspired, obviously, uh, South Florida springtime dishes. Let's get started. So we, we're gonna do two dishes. We've got um, uh, beautiful pumpkin swordfish, and we've got some really, really nice uh, main scallops that I've got seasoned um, already ready. We're just gonna get these cooking. With the swordfish, we're gonna do, we've got some like really beautiful like baby shiitake mushrooms we're gonna throw in the same pan. Uh, we're gonna hold off the peas. We've got these like beautiful baby zucchinis that we're gonna lay in there. And we can kind of warm all the vegetables together in the same pan. And then uh, we'll start the scallops too. We've got um, this really pretty swordfish. Then with these guys, we got a real pretty sear. And then at the last second, I'm gonna take some of this bacon that we get from, from Tennessee. So we take the corn that we get from Bell Glades raw, we put it through a vegetable juicer, and then we slow cook it to where it turns into like, almost like a paste. And then we've got some this really pretty baby gem lettuce. So we're kind of making like a warm, almost like a warm salad, right? So you would consider yourself a farm to table restaurant? Yeah, we call it farm and dock to table. Farm and dock. Farm and, and dock. dock. Farm and Love dock. That. Yeah. This is a sunchoke puree. So sunchoke is, it's got like an artichoke kind of flavor to it, but it's got starch in it. So it's like a potato meets an artichoke, sort oh. of. Oh, are you performing surgery on our food? Sort of. Can you I, my I'm, a, I'm an artist and a doctor at the same time. 
Jack of all trades. I am. Then we'll take our, so good. Then we'll take our nice piece of pumpkin swordfish. We love this stuff. We're going to lay that right like that. Pumpkin swordfish? You mean that you saute it in pumpkin? No. So what happens is the, the fish itself runs into a school of shrimp while it's like maybe 3,000 feet in the water. And it starts gorging on the shrimp. When it fills its stomach with all that shellfish, as it starts to digest it, it actually, its flesh will turn orange. Cooking all this food is making my mouth water. It's time to put it in the belly. Oh my God, Christine! Oh, ah. oh my oh. gosh! <laughs> I will see you forever. You Thank you so much for coming. So I wanted to surprise my Hi, how are you? It's is a staple name in the community oh, yeah. of South Florida. Right. And here she is now. Yes. I'm ready to play. Are you ready to have a drink? With I us? am ready to have a drink. Let's go. Let's do it, Dining Divas. Are you hungry, by the way? I am always hungry. I'm on the morning show at Revolution 935, and I have to tell you something with JP in the morning show, that man makes me hungry. He likes ah. to eat. And I told him I was coming here. We're going to have a great time. I'm ready. Wow. All right, ladies. This presentation is everything. That's our raw bar tower. This is kind of a different array of all kind of raw seafood that we have. Um, some of it is cooked, Florida stone crab. We've got different oysters. We like to use cold water oysters only for raw presentation. So they just are healthier for you. We have these fanny bays. These are from the Pacific. A funky shell? Yeah, they got a funky shell. And then we've got ceviches and pokies, by the way. So it's got tajiki seaweed in it, cucumber, sesame, soy. Uh, there's ginger juice, fresh flavors, super healthy. We've got some Gulf shrimp here. Here as well. Beautiful shrimp. We cook them in a corbillon. Really nice. Peeled already for you so you don't have to mess with that. And then we do a smoked fish dip. The fish dip here we smoke in house so it changes all the time. So right now swordfish has been running locally. So we're doing a swordfish one and we have a bunch of pickled vegetables that we have from our pickling room. Well, I put my bib on real <laughs> yes. Alright we should just all do one together. Let's do one together. Yes, we go for it. Let's shoot right, it ladies. Cheers. 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 Wow. So what do you think? Yep. You know what they say about oysters? Wow, that raw bar tower was absolutely amazing. Insane. Wait, I can have a what Chef Brad and us cooked up in the kitchen. Wow. So I really want you to try this. Because I have a lot of them. You did. All right, so Natalia, yes. I know you've been on for a little while, and I was going to make off of Michelle. How much I miss you. Oh, I miss you too. And I mean, if, if people don't know who you are, I mean, you're not an Italian. They either are too young or they are not a South Florida Puerto person. Yeah, I, mean, I appreciate that. I mean, it's it's been 22 years. I've been in radio and television out here. i um, worked with you on several different projects. My first time meeting beautiful Michelle, and uh, it, and it's nice. It's just really? beautiful. You beautiful Michelle. Yes, I did. <laughs> Oh and uh, by coming back home and, and uh, being invited to do this, it, it, it has been, uh, wow, what a wild homecoming for me. How did you get your name? Naughty Natalia. <laughs> naughty Natalia. Naughty Natalia. Uh, are you so naughty? I can, I can be. I love being single. And you know why? Because I, I finally have found the relationship with myself. And that is a relationship I'll never give up. And you're always surrounded by people who are, are you know, you attract who you are. Okay, what was your favorite thing that you ate so far today? All right, well, I have to say the, the uh, to me, it's it's kind of hard to decide between the you two. You don't have to pick a favorite, but what, like, what do you uh, like? Okay, well, the scallops for me, they're succulent. I, I like how they're um, crispy on the outside. They've got juiciness on the inside. I think you have little pieces of bacon right here. And it's going to go in my tummy right now. I'm going to take myself out on a date here. Not even a tell you. Listen, I can't wait to come on your show. You're gonna have to come on my and show, talk JP. About dining diva. Me too. Now that you've dined like a diva. Yes. Let's absolutely. Let's finish this food. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. Thank